These are 10 reasons why Black Friday may be different in 2021, and some of my predictions could surprise you. Number one, this year Black Friday will start off with a push tied to panic buying but you'll still be able to grab the vast majority of the items on your holiday shopping list. It is true that stores are facing unprecedented shipping issues and distribution that is primarily at this time affecting grocery stores, vehicle lots, certain computer chips, and for the vast majority of the items that you would buy construction related at Home Depot or Lowe's, these are all purchases you might want to make well before Black Friday. There's also a list I'll share in a few moments that has the products that you might want to consider stocking up on in advance of Christmas. But for the same 500 Black Friday TV deals we see every year or the iPhone 13 that is on sale and will still be available, heavily subsidized by gift cards, whether you are shopping at Best Buy or even Walmart right now, retailers will do everything they can to ensure you still get most of the items on your holiday shipping list delivered in time. Even Walmart is chartering its own ships right now to assist with product delays. But you can't blame everything we're seeing right now solely on shipping delays. Which brings me to number two. Black Friday this year will start earlier than ever and you're gonna be enticed by so-called doorbusters that you might not actually even need to buy until later. And that's not just because of distribution issues, that's because retailers are playing catch up and they want to take advantage of this extra time to get you to spend money you don't necessarily need to spend. This year, many retailers launched their early Black Friday deals before most households had even considered celebrations for Halloween. And when it comes to doorbusters or scoring a deal on a new Xbox, PlayStation 5, or that TV that is actually the better brand which I can steer you toward, feel free to join my Insider Deal Guide Texting Club. 440-298-2181 is my way where I can send you an alert, not just for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, but beyond. Number three on my prediction list is the highest end luxury items that don't usually see the best promotions will be incentivized like you won't believe this year. Since the world turned upside down last year, consumer behavior has shifted to products that are deemed to be essential. Products like the Oculus 2, a new pair of AirPod Pros, high-end designer clothing, or even the highest end scooters or hoverboards will see some of the best promotions they've ever been tied to in a long time so stores can entice you at a time where many of us wouldn't otherwise be enticed. Which brings me to point four, it's all tied to the fact that the highest end luxury items may not actually even arrive on time for Christmas. Since that maxed out MacBook Pro is not as highly in demand as a power generator right now, stores will prioritize what they order and the larger palettes of the products that cater to the masses will arrive at stores with a completely different timetable. Which brings me to prediction number five. This will be one of the most repetitive Black Fridays you've ever seen, with many stores favoring the same deals that they showed you on Labor Day, 4th of July, Columbus Day, and Memorial Day, over and over again. Amazon will offer most of the Echoes and Fire TV sticks for prices that drop to as low as 15 bucks and are 40 to 60% off. Walmart will try and win your attention over with a $99 Chromebook that might not actually have that much stock. And Best Buy will have your jaw on the floor tied to an offering of 4K TVs for a fraction of what they would typically sell for unless you paid attention to any of the other long weekends and holidays that preceded Black Friday. And this year, Thanksgiving leftovers will take on a whole new meaning. And I don't just mean the 528th air fryer deal that you will see as we approach the big day. Prediction number six, this will be the year of the Black Friday price guarantee. And I don't expect many of these promises to actually sway consumer behavior. If you haven't confronted them yet, there are new Black Friday guarantees in place. Last year, it was all about the price match guarantee, and this year there's a guarantee that if you buy a certain product early, it will not be offered for a lower price on Black Friday itself, and if it is, you would get a rebate. But there's a bit of a catch to this promise. Let's take Best Buy, for example. They're telling you right now you can buy an Insignia TV at a specific price, and they will not offer a lower price for that same TV on Black Friday. The catch is, they might not even be selling that television on Black Friday, and it might be a significantly better Samsung or Sony model. So unless you really need an item, and I will explain the items you should stock up on in a few moments, I would not feel pressured to buy early despite the promise, which is a very good idea on its own if you do really need something and you know the brand. Prediction number seven, 
You'll be wasting your time and money more than ever before if you decide to shop in store on Black Friday unless it's tied to a warehouse club or a couple of retailers, which I will mention in a moment. Now, if a shopping tradition in your household is lining up or going hand in hand into a store on Black Friday, all the power to you. But for those very hard to get products and the possibility of any type of distribution issues, when you go inside one store, you are at the mercy of the stock tied to that one specific location. When you shop online this Black Friday, you'll generally be getting the best of the stock available to you from a distribution warehouse where you can get it faster and not face the sellouts that may plague individual retailers. There are exceptions. In addition to the warehouse clubs, Kohl's, CVS, and Walgreens are all stores where the online Black Friday experience rarely matches all of the rebates you will find if you physically set foot in those stores. Before I reveal the categories where you might want to consider stocking up early if you guys are enjoying this content, please Feel free to give this video a thumbs up, and if you subscribe and turn your notifications turned on, I promise to hook you up with all of your holiday deal requests to the best of my ability, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and beyond. Now, my next point is that if you are considering a purchase tied to clothing, I usually advise that people wait closer to Christmas for the best winter-related clothing deals, but this year my advice is different. If you see a clothing sale that appeals to you or an item, buy it now. This is a category where I expect distribution issues to wreak havoc. Anything food related or turkey and Thanksgiving meal related, there is definitely a shortage affecting many cities and towns. Make your move while you can. And for anything tied to food storage in the form of a fridge or secondary freezer, these are also appliance deals that you might wanna consider early. Sporting goods is a category where if you do have a purchase to make, I would recommend making it now. And if you do have a new baby in your household, diapers, Cribs, baby or toddler related furniture, and even furniture as a whole for that matter, is a category where you definitely want to shop early and that time is now. My next prediction, you can tell by my hand movements, I'm getting even more amped up. This will be the year of the warehouse club. When it comes to a retailer capable of offering epic discounts to a massive herd of people all wanting to buy the same thing at the same time despite product shortages, few stores can handle the situation better than a large international retailer like Costco or even national warehouse clubs like Sam's Club and BJ's. If you've not prioritized using your warehouse club membership for Black Friday, my friends, this is the time to consider working that membership to your advantage. And if you are on the fence surrounding a warehouse membership club, now is the time to consider becoming a member. Not one part of this video is sponsored. I'm just giving you this information as a fellow shopper and someone that really wants to watch out for your wallet. Which brings me to the next point. Stores everywhere are going to try to attract your attention to these so-called doorbusters. And this year, the timing is a little bit different. If you are hearing the word doorbuster anytime before Monday, November 22nd, I personally would not get too excited. Typically, the doorbusters that someone would line up for or those products that would really pique your interest advertised from a so-called leaked ad scan, those are generally reserved for Thanksgiving and Black Friday, but this year, to help retain momentum and likely play catch up for lower than expected early holiday sales, I predict the top deals of the year will all appear online on the Monday before Black Friday. That is the Monday before the Thanksgiving travel rush, and that date is Monday, November 22nd. Of course, I will make sure you guys are taken care of, and feel free to share this video with any other fellow Black Friday shoppers or someone that needs a little bit of help this time of year. I love assisting. Which brings me to my final bonus point. This will be the year of free money, and that is in the form of a gift card. But that doesn't necessarily mean you should buy the gift card before Black Friday. I predict that many of the best gift card promotions that typically appear before Black Friday will be significantly stronger the longer you wait toward Christmas. And that's because many of the distribution problems will start to appear right around that time as people try to get their gifts delivered in time for Christmas. So you're going to see extreme discounts on gift cards for your favorite restaurants, spas, and even subscription services like the PlayStation Store, Hulu, or Disney Plus. I do not expect the early birds to score the best bargains when it comes to gift cards. And a reminder, regardless of what you are searching for or not searching for, do not feel pressured that you need to go beyond your budget or your holiday shopping list. And if you do want to see the seasonal offerings right now for your favorite retailers, I've got them all for you right here on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.